Trust has yet to settle over President Balatinubu's would-be ministers before yesterday's allocation of portfolios to those amongst them uh, who scaled the screening hurdle in the Senate. And now Nigerians are reacting to the person-to-person -to -person portfolio matchups as well. It has been a mixed bag of reactions to this development, with a critical part of it being that many square pegs have found themselves in round holes again. Our next guest is Madi Shehu, a doctor and political activist. What does he think about President Tinubu's brand new cabinet of ministers, as well as Governor Shei Makinde's proposal for a one-term tenure for political office holders? Well, he joins us now. Thank you for joining us on Newsday. Good to have you with us. Good afternoon. Well, what do you make of uh, President Tinubu's new cabinet and portfolios that have been uh, signed to each of them? Well, the last time I spoke on the ministerial list, I told Nigerians that uh, if you are a good Nigerian and wish Nigeria are good, you are represented by the few good ones among the nominees. And if you're also a Nigerian who celebrates uh, criminality, celebrate criminals, celebrate uh, election rigging, you are also adequately represented by some people on the list. Going for your question now, what do I see? Once once I perused through the list of the ministerial nominees and their portfolios, what came to my mind is that, yes, there we, there we are. A perfectly executed civilian coup. The central character who plays the coup is Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Other accomplices of the tribu are the hidden vice president. And the hidden vice president is nobody other than B.C. Akande. Other members of the coup, civilian coup plot, are Bajabi Amila, the vice president, open vice president on all sorts of stuff to the president. I could see the hand of the permanent secretary in the villa. I could see the hand of AT, SSA, and SSA in the villa. These are the people who executed this coup. Where was the plot? It was in London. You could remember that during the electoral campaign, Bola Tenubo, along with his uh, kitchen cabinet, went to London and were eating in a restaurant. And he gave them the formula for winning election. He said, snatch power, grab power, and run away with power. And he grabbed it. He snatched it. And he ran away with it. One of the conditions is that once you snatch power, you grab power, and you run away with it, you must strangulate other parties. You must weaken them and you must make them feel asphyxiated. You must push down their throats. You are agenda to a point of no return. And now I finally pretend that all is well. This is the setting of the ministerial nominees and their portfolio. Perfectly, neatly couched. Dr. Madishu, thank you so much for giving wow. us you know, your opinion of the president's uh, ministerial list and the portfolio assigned to them. But we really do not have any proof of a civilian coup and of a hidden vice president, as you alluded to earlier. So we would like to stick you know, with what we have proof of, which is the list of the ministers and their portfolios, and ask you specific questions you know, about this. Now, as has, as has been the practice you know, since the 
return to democratic rule, it seems the president has kept the petroleum portfolio to himself. How well has this served us in the past? What do you expect the president, or what can the president do differently from his predecessors? Now, I ask that has been the practice, you know, since return to democratic rule. It seems President Bola Tinubu has kept the petroleum portfolio to himself. How well has this served us in the past? And what do you expect or what can the president do differently, you know, from his predecessors? What I expected uh, Tinubu to do is to look at the circumstances of his coming. Serial objection serial misgivings, serial exasperations. Many people, 14 million people said, we don't like you. You are so many questions surrounding himself, surrounding his education, surrounding his personality, surrounding his trade, surrounding his genealogy. If he had factored all this into consideration, he would have acted differently. But he decided to act in the same way, in the same manner, in the same style, at the same speed with Buhari. For Buhari and Tinubu, there is no difference. And we are going to say it very clear now. For, for example, look at, look at what goes to the southwest. Number one, CBN. Because an FLA is under charge now, they will never appoint a CVN governor, and this guy who is acting as the CVN governor is from the Southwest. All commercial banks, all financial institutions, 90% of microfinance banks, Shippers Council, NNITT, National Inland Waterways, Communications, under communication has taken away NCC, NIDA, Galaxy Backbone, NASCOPSAT, NIPOST, Ministry of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Accountant General, Auditor General, NDIC, all MDAs, Marine, Marine and Blue Economy, Power, Solid Mineral, Transport, Petroleum, Justice, in addition to being the senior minister of petroleum, in addition to being the president, in addition to calling the last shot, everything is on his table. Now, he took also health, environmental ecology, total of eight senior ministers, two junior ministers. If you have a mental picture of what happened and what he gave to the Southwest, it's like you're having an Odudu Republic in the making, paving way for the Republic of Biafra, and forcing the North to think, okay, let us be annexed by Niger Republic or Cameroon. It's a matter of Buhari's insensitivity repeated. You go to the Southeast, what you have in Southeast is similar to what you have in Matthew chapter 15, 26, 28, which says, it is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. The woman said, Christ, yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Jesus said, Master, woman, you have faith. This is how South West we are given, South East we are given the crumbs. Ministry for Work, senior. Women Affairs, senior. Labor, junior. Senior Trade. Senior Innovation, and Technology. Put together, these ministries are not up to Nigerian Port Authority. In other words, they are telling the South East, think twice about Obi next time around, that is your crime. But the story is different from South South. If you go to South South, sen senior aviation, senior youth, senior capital territory, senior humanitarian affairs, senior sports, junior petroleum, junior petroleum again. What are they saying? 
He's as if he's saying Mark chapter 1 verse 11. It says, you are my sons whom I love. With you I am well pleased. As if he's addressing Wiki and addressing Asare Dokubo. Go to the southwest. Northwest. It's like a love letter. The appointment of Northwesterners in the cabinet seems like a love letter. A love letter written by Tess. That actress in uh, Tess, or uh, T T Thomas Hardy's Tess of the Devils. After she told her first to Angel Claire, after she confessed her sin, after she sacrificed herself, Angel Claire denied her, disowned her, abandoned her. But even with that, even when the North, no, even when the North was abandoned their people, ignored their own people, this is the love letter he wrote to them. As you show me love, dear Northwest, I will always love you. Wow. Today, tomorrow, and the day after forever. That is the way I can reward you. And I have rewarded you adequately. And thank you for promoting, protecting, and projecting the Muslim Muslim ticket. If you go to the Northeast, what you have is senior agriculture, senior education, senior interior, senior foreign affairs, senior health, senior police affairs, junior cell development. I am rewarding you for your steadfastness in Muslim Muslim ticket and for abandoning your people and for, and, and for, and for looking away and for being insensitive and, and for pretending as if there was no Boko Haram for 12 years in your own environment. North Central, you have senior steel, senior information, senior justice, senior labor, junior police affairs. And the message is, think twice on OB, North Central. The most interesting portfolio of all the portfolios are the portfolios of my brother, Badaru, and Matawal, the former governor of Zampara State. They were given ministers of defense, senior and junior. Ironically, this is the most insulting portfolio. They are not generals. They are not security agents. They are not security personnel. They are not former police officers. Badaru is an accountant. Matol is an administrator from, from the Paris State. When they go to the defense ministry, the first thing they will see is uh, they will send them military assistance, MAs, not of their choice. When they are dis these are people who cannot deploy a single man, a single army to any location without the approval of the president. And their zone is burning. Their zone is under siege. Their zone is bewildered. People are dying, are dying morning, afternoon, evening, night, by the minute, by the hour, by the day, by the week, by the hour, all year through. Yet they are called defense ministers and a portfolio of defense. They can't even defend the defense budget because of full of technicalities before the National Assembly. Luckily for them, they are going to be given bulletproof vehicles. They are going to be given armed guards by the army. They are going to be given sirens. And they may be given the crumbs by the generals of the navy, of the air force, of the army. They will be given a handout. Maybe when it comes to employment in the air force, in the navy, in the Nigerian army, at the NDA, they may be given some slots. And their slots, if they make the physical they will fail in the medicals. At the end of the day, they have nowhere to go and they have nobody to show. Luckily for us, luckily for Nigeria, this perhaps prayerfully 
maybe the most short-lived, the most short-lived cabinet. We pray for that. And after that, that being short-lived, we hope Nigerians from the northeast, from the north central, from the southeast, from the northwest, from the will think twice, will act twice, will think wisely, behave wisely, and deliver wisely. But the final, the final message of this list and the portfolio is that, uh, is that uh, it's not only a military man that succeed in plotting a coup successfully. Civilians like Bola Ahmed Tinubu have perfected the art and the skill of executing a civilian, a civilian coup successfully, seamlessly, and bloodlessly. I congratulate him and I sympathize with the Nigerians. I congratulate the Southwest for having the picture of an Abidu Republic in the making. Well, uh, Mardi Shehu, uh, let's change the subject just slightly. Uh, thank you for your uh, uh, analysis on the uh, ministerial portfolios and the appointments. So Oyo State Governor uh, Shei Makinde, he recently proposed the adoption of a five-year single tenure for governors, uh, presidents, state legislative uh, individuals, National Assembly, he said it would allow for them to get more time to do what it is that they needed to do within their tenure and also would uh, eliminate the need for that two terms that uh, often becomes a, a little bit tricky. What, in your opinion, would be the benefits of such? Would it work in our current political climate or uh, do you think it's not a good idea? It is not a matter of one term or two terms or endless terms or, 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 or amending the constitution for life presidency, no. What matters is the person, the personality, his mindset, his hidden agenda, his open agenda, his conscience. This is what matters. You give somebody a hundred years, he will fail. You give somebody six months, he will perform. We have a living example now. Just, just within a day, on the day of his inauguration, just on that day, Tinubu made a miscalculated statement, an avoidable blunder, a despicable act by announcing that no 12 subsidy. From that hour, from that minute, he further destroyed the economy of Nigeria. It will never regain. That is just one minute. If he can do this damage within three months, under three months he is going to war. Under three months he has taken over FIRS, Nigerian Custom, Port Authority, Maritime Authority. And under one month, under two months he has destroyed the value of the Naira. Under three months, it is hunger and starvation and disease all over the horizon. Under three months of Tinubu, it is confusion in the polity, discontentment in the polity, misgivings in the entire people. This is just a day or a month or three months. So time frame doesn't matter. Murtlas, Murtla Mohammed spent only six months, but today, that six months still rings bell. Buhari had eight years. He left behind, he left behind pains, trials, tribulations, discontentment, destroyed economy, destroyed policy, looting, stealing, and forbidden of justice. Eight years. You give somebody five years, if he is focused, he is responsible, he has conscience, he can deliver. Give him a thousand years. If he has no conscience, he has no focus, he won't deliver anything. Take example here. Our, our neighbors here in Cameroon. Just Cameroon here. What we, the president of Cameroon has been around for over 40 years. For beer. Has been around for 40 years. Yet, Cameroonians are down the drain. They are hungry, they are angry, 
they are bewildered, they are dislocated. 40 years is 40 years of hunger and starvation. Theodoro of Equatorial Guinea has been around for 43 years. Go to Equatorial Guinea, same story with, the, with the Nigeria, same story with Paul Pia. You go to Alpha Conde of Guinea, has been there for over 30 Dr. years. Madishil. What has he done to Guinea? Dr. Madi Shil, political activist, forgive if me for interrupting, Al -Hassan, Al -Hassan, but we are completely Al -Hassan, Al -Hassan out of time. Of Qatar. We are completely out of time, Dr. Madi Shil, but we do appreciate your contribution on Newsday. And just before we wrap it up, you know, I have to put it out there that until and unless the court decides otherwise, the president came into power through the ballot and not a coup, whether civilian or otherwise. But Dr. Madi Shil, thank you so much for joining us.